What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today we are looking at some photography accessory. This is a tripod from Manfrotto and to be more precise this is the compact edition as you can probably tell by the size of the box. Uh, interestingly as we can tell from the box already this is a tripod with a joystick head uh, both for uh, photo and video cameras. Uh, the box obviously is not very exciting so let's see what is what on the inside. Alright, opening the box, uh, three things in there, obviously the unit itself that we'll get to in a minute. Uh, you get this uh, carry pouch, which is very common with uh, tripods, but it is actually padded. Uh, it's hard to show you on camera, but it's actually uh, slightly padded uh, to prevent any knocks and bumps uh, damaging the tripod, which I think is a nice touch. Uh, the drawstring uh, could use some work though, because it's not very comfortable to carry, I think. You get a little manual, which is uh, pretty irrelevant because uh, you know it's a tripod so you'll probably know how it works uh, but you also get a Sony Nex 5R 5T adapter for maximum stability which I think is also a nice touch making this uh, available to you know whatever kind of camera you're going to use it with alright so let's have a look at the tripod itself uh, we're going to start at the bottom uh, pretty standard stuff here you can tell uh, obviously uh, this is used to make the tripod longer it just folds into itself on the bottom you got some rubber feet which are slightly grooved for extra stability, hopefully you can see that. And then it's just a matter, pretty much like with any tripod, uh, to clicking this open, extending it as far as you would like to, and then when you close it, it sits nice and stable. Uh, it is actually quite surprisingly stable uh, even though the legs here are super thin. Uh, you can um, use this with devices up to a kilo and a half, uh, they reckon. Uh, and you'll be very fine as long as you don't uh, put the feet too close to each other. Uh, all should be well. Now when we put the tripod up, you can tell that there is uh, an additional part here in the middle. Uh, you can undo that with this little knob. And then obviously you have a little bit of extra extension for the head. Uh, so then once you have the desired height, you tighten this again. And you're good to go. Then we get to the uh, obviously the functional bit, the part that you'll be holding in your hand the most. Uh, they call this a, a joystick kind of head, uh, obviously since you're using this part uh, to hold it most of the time. You can tell uh, there's two options here, uh, the video camera mode and the photo camera mode. Uh, when we put it in the video camera mode, uh, this is the movement that you get. Uh, pretty much around and sideways is not really possible because it's locked in place. If you want to keep it in one spot, there is a little scroll wheel here. Uh, once you twist that tight, you can see that the whole head is stable. Once you loosen that up, you can move it around in either direction, up, down and around. Uh, this little knob though, you can put it on photo mode as well. And then you also have the option to swivel from side to side. Uh, so that gives you even more you know, flexibility to find the right spot and the right angle for you to take the picture. When you put it back you have to make sure that this uh, fits into the circle or the half circle rather above uh, in order to make that uh, bond because once you uh, turn this out of, out of alignment you can see that you can turn it but it may, doesn't make any difference. So this has to be back in the slot up here. Then here we have a sort of a wheel, I suppose scroll wheel even if you want to call it that way uh, in order for more fine tuning and extra stability of the head. Once you lock it in place, you know, it sits nice and tight and no problems whatsoever. Uh, I'd say once you start moving around, it is good to have the solid base of the tripod, uh, but um, it's maybe not the most sophisticated uh, way to move your camera around. Uh, that said, it is very functional, so that's quite nice. Uh, and once you have a good spot, you use the wheel here again to lock it in place and all is nice and tight. So that is uh, overall pretty easy to operate and pretty easy action. Uh, then on top here, is of course the part where your camera will sit. Uh, there's a quick release here, open, and this obviously screws into the bottom of your uh, camera, uh, and then you can just take your camera off uh, if you want to shoot something uh, with the free hand. And then you just pop it back in here, obviously with your camera on it, close it, and it's nice and secure in place. There's a little uh, rubber ring sort of around here, and you can see that it's with a slightly edged rubber. Uh, so you have your camera has a nice and, and solid uh, fit on there. Uh, the downside obviously of this uh, quick release is that you need to use this specific adapter in your camera to make sure it fits. Uh, where there's most, most tripods have sort of a, a square that you can put a standard mount on the bottom of your camera and just click it in that way. 
I'm not really sure why they went for this, I would almost call proprietary solution, because uh, you know you can just make this the normal square that every other tripod uses as well. Uh, but I suppose it does, uh, you know, does do what it needs to do. And if this is your main uh, tripod, that is not much of an issue. But if you, uh, you know, change tripods or change cameras a lot, then you're gonna need a lot more of these uh, to begin with. Um, if it's all the same brand, but if it's several different brands, then you probably want to have the the normal standard square uh, solution. So that is maybe a downside of this tripod. All in all, though, I have to say it's a pretty decent uh, piece of kit. It'll set you back around 55 euros here in Germany. Uh, as you can see, this is the red accent. It also comes in white and black accents, if that's more your kind of thing. Uh, but overall, the quality is pretty good. It's reasonably stable, um, as long as you don't do anything too crazy with it. And uh, because of the small and light form factor, I think it's easy to carry around when you're shooting something on location, or even if you're a hobby photographer and you want to shoot something you know, on holiday. This is pretty easy to take with you without uh, taking up too much space. Uh, I would say though that the button action here is slightly, I wouldn't say flimsy, uh, but it could, as you can see, it moves around a little bit. That could have been done a bit tighter. And also here with the wheel, you can see that it's open. Uh, those are just small things, uh, you know, at this price point you can't expect miracles. Uh, but I think those are things that could have done, been done slightly better by Manfrotto. Overall though, it's a pretty decent piece of kit, I like it, it's nice to shoot uh, both photos and videos, uh, but I th I'd say the limiting factor is maybe the kilo and a half that you can put on top. You can imagine if you have uh, a big camera with a, a big lens, uh, the weight is going to go up quite quickly, uh, and this, then this little uh, compact version will not be uh, sufficient anymore. But if you're uh, you know, an, an aspiring photographer or filmmaker, a beginner with a limited amount of equipment, then this will do just fine. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the Manfrotto compact action tripod with the joystick head. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, that helps us out a lot. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!